Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to an update of the SPY. I thought I would do this today. Very interestingly, the market held uh, extremely bullishly the last few days. Well, let's just take a look at it. Yesterday, the market closed with this bottoming tail. Nice little bottoming tail here with a small range body. And today, I wasn't sure where the market would actually open and gap. And initially, uh, it was a little bit neutral, and then we opened lower. So it was a gap down that actually took place in the SPY today, but I called it as an immediate buy. And it was an immediate buy. I go look at the one-minute chart, but you had to get out when it ran up here um, into the reversal time. Then the market took a dive. Actually, let's look at the one minute first. Let's go. There is a ton of econ out in the next two days in the market, too. I mean, a ton of reports between Thursday and Friday. So we're just going to get some movement here in the market this next two days for sure. All right, let's look here. So initially I called in the room to buy the market in a one minute high if it's set up or the first buy set up. The, the buy setup worked. The buy setup worked in the market here if you bought it and didn't do a one minute high, but you could have bought it here or here. 9.35 reversal time. This you could have bought and held. It pulled up. You could have taken some off, came down in here. Here was a second setup here into 10 o'clock, and here's where it lifted on through right at 10 o'clock. Look at this. Really nice move here in the market. So the entry was 179.20, and it ran up more than a buck. Really, really nice trade in here to go long. I did not do this, but I said to go long uh, immediately this morning, the market, and it was a good call because the market had a huge rally. Then it actually triggered on the buy setup. Triggered on the buy setup, and I thought it was going to go out and make new highs. If not in the SPY, at least to retest the area of the Qs, I thought it was going to make new highs over 86. But it didn't. Instead, it triggered a few pennies. 180.39 is here. It triggered on the buy setup 10 pennies over. But then all of a sudden, it crashed down through into this reversal time. For some reason, around 11 o'clock into 11.15, the market came in, set up and actually set up to do a 15 minute buy set up to go long and then right at noon which is a major reversal time in the market it fell off a cliff I mean it absolutely collapsed and fell off a cliff and I don't know why it just did it held then held rallied all the way back rallied all the way back and completely retraced the drop off and closed bullishly on the day but we'll have to wait and see where we actually open tomorrow morning you know, my call for tomorrow is bullish. I think we hold in here. If we wanted to fall and fail and go red and really crash to the bottom of the planet, we could have today. Market did break the low, made that bottoming tail thing. If anything, I'm seeing this here. This is sitting here on its butt, acting like a very nice support. Like this, the fact that we actually opened here and did the tail is actually a better support than if we just had a small body day here up and close like this. So this tail is actually a nice little support area making a little nest and a squishiness here on this 20 period moving average. I think it's a good place to go higher tomorrow. So we're either going to rally up tomorrow and go higher and fall through the buy set up the trigger today, or we're just going to have a neutral day and not really go anywhere with any momentum. But that's low odds because the market has a lot of reports out tomorrow, and I think we're going to get some movement. And unless the reports are negative or the market reacts negative to, to them, um, I think we have a move to the upside. Unless for some reason I get up tomorrow morning, we're gapping down, but... We're not gapping down here tonight, so here it is, this is where we came in. Look at that. Beautiful. Really nice move. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in more information on how to read charts and do technical analysis and and read things in the matter that I do, which is taking a look at price and gaps in the chart of a stock or the market. You can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. I teach a class on how to read gaps. And uh, it actually is focused on technical analysis and the reading of price and charts. Uh, to me, that's really the only way to trade. So if you're interested in more information, reach out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.